Welcome back to our Hatch Embroidery Getting Started series. Today we will learn about the design palette or the color bar at the bottom of your screen. You will learn of the default colors in Hatch, both used and unused. We will show you the status bar at the bottom. You will learn the difference in the measurements both in the status bar and at the top in the toolbars and why you see them sometimes but at other times you do not. The design palette, or the color bar, is shown at the bottom of your screen. Now you can move this also, but until you're really used to the software, once again, I'll recommend that you leave it where it is. The design palette contains the colors either in your current design shown on screen, or the colors that you have selected from your My Thread Stalker. These are the colors you have selected to work with. You've made them available in your design palette to work with in your design. Remember, if the color is not shown in the design palette at the bottom of your screen, you cannot use it in the design. Think of it as color chips, like paint chips, but it's colors of threads. Now let's look at a few of the different design palettes that you might see. The first design palette that you will see is in a new blank design. In a new blank design, of course, there's no colors in it. So it will bring on the 30 default colors that are in Hatch. These colors can be changed to your liking. These are always the default colors in the order that you will see them in Hatch. If you have a design open, you will see the colors that is in the particular design. Now there could be more colors listed along here depending upon how the setup was for the digitizer of that design. But one thing to notice, if the color has been used in the design, it will show a little blue square dot in the upper right hand corner of each color that has been shown. Now this brings us all the way down to the bottom. This black bar is called our status bar. If I do not have any design open, notice there's nothing in the width of the height because this is showing the width and the height of your current design that's on screen. It'll tell you it's an empty screen because there's no stitches there and you'll even see what fabric setting happens to be preset for that particular design, blank design that is. If I open the design, Notice that now it has a width and a height. This width and the height is the overall width and the height of your design. Then you have some X, Y, and length and angle uh, coordinate. And then another important thing for you to know is that this is your stitch count. This is the current stitch count of that particular design. Now one thing I want to mention is that you have a width and height at the bottom, which is the settings or the sizes for the particular design you have on screen. But you also have a width and a height at the top. Now the width and the height at the top is of the selected design or the selected object. Notice if I do not have that selected, I do not see any of these measurements at the top. Only when I select it will I see them. They won't always be the exact same numbers, but they will be very close. Now, I'm just going to ungroup this design for a moment. I'm going to grab a piece of this, and I'm going to pull it out here. Now, notice that in the bottom, I have my width and my height because I've extended my width here when I pull this out. But notice at the top, the width and the height is only of this selected part that is in these brackets. So that is something to keep in mind when you're looking at the measurements at the top versus the measurements at the bottom. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you check out our other videos in the Hatch Getting Started series.